hadn't planned on it. Glad to not be working on that ugly thing anymore. If there's one Finally thing I can't some stand, sleep. it's shoddy construction. I would Glad not to be working on it that. Drives Kuvar thing mad, but anymore. someone has need to get to back to my aunt. Unless you can help, what's oh. going on here? The Mead Hall, up there on the hill. Right, we were. Some reeklings have taken it. Are you offering to help? Some new blood should be enough to rouse these layabouts to action. Well, let's move then. Hey, you lazy milk drinkers, get over here. I know you're all starting to settle in here and keep up the fat lives you've got used to up in the hall. But look here, this outsider has more fire than any of you. All I had to do was mention our little infestation and he volunteered in a second. I don't want to have my spirit outstripped by some wanderer, so let's get up there and kill us some reeklings. We'll clean up here. You go with Bajold. A lot of work to do around this oh, place. That was almost exhilarating. How are you feeling? Good to hear. In fact, that's just the spirit I'll need from my second. Do you want to come with me? My second, if we're going to take up residence here again, I need to get the blessing of Rothmund again. I'll need a witness and, well, you see the kind of horker brains I deal with around here. What do you say? Well, let's not waste time talking about it then.
Are you ready to go inside? The burial place of Rothmund, who founded Thursk. He brought a group of true warriors away from the soft life of the Skal to know the wilderness, to feel the sting of cold and of steel. I know that sounds a little silly. It's just the way it's written in the books. It's pretty simple. Rothmund's axe is in there with him. Anyone who attempts to take hold of it has their spirit judged by Rothmund himself. No, no, nothing like that. He doesn't need to battle us to know us. He's always watched over Thursk and sees us from beyond. And in my case, since he's already deemed me worthy, it will just be a matter of him remembering why he blessed me before. Really, all you need to do is watch. Let's not waste any time then. Careful with that. So I just need to take hold of it. You seek my blessing for the leadership of Thursk Hall? I do. It is I, Bujold. You blessed me in the past. And now I've rid the Hall of Reeklings and returned it to its rightful owners. And well it is that this has happened. But I have always watched and know that it was your softness that led to your own exile. You no, allowed your fellow I... warriors to grow weak while the dangers around you mounted. Then the leadership is not mine? No, nor is there any among you fit to serve. For a band in the wilderness it is better to have no leader than a poor one. That was a little embarrassing. The only thing I can... I need to return to Thur. No matter what Rothman says, we need a leader. And I'm still the best person. Look what's happened to us so far under his watchful eye. Anyway, he's dead. All I need is for you to back me up. You don't even need to lie. Just don't tell anyone else what you heard here. I was afraid you might say that. Well, looks as though I'll have to prove my mettle against you now. I never should have come here.
Take care of We'll go with it. Hope our shipments are still good. How long? It may be dead now, but where did it come from? Shall listen. from me.
We've got a crew on it. They're not sharp, but they're working hard. Come back soon. See how they're doing. We've got a crew on it. Dior, you must be calm. I'm sure there's a good reason Baldor left us. Something isn't right, Fenari. I feel it. In I'm my the bones leader of the Skull, it but it's the Allmaker who truly protects and provides. I was chosen. I suppose I've always spoken my mind. Bandit, some. It will be dangerous. Then may the Allmaker give you the strength of a great. Don't worry yourself over nothing, Dior. Do you want a head full of gray hairs before you? So, Hermes Mora. Old Hermamora himself. So he is the source of Mirak's power. Of course. We have many tales of Hermamora trying to trick us into giving up our secrets to him. And now he comes again for what we have long kept from him. Ah. Ancient lore, handed down from shaman to shaman since the All-Maker first gave source time to the Skull. How to talk to the wind, how to listen to the earth, these are our secrets. Nothing of power or mastery. We know him as Hermamora, the demon of knowledge. It is in his nature to hoard secrets to himself. Their value to him is of no consequence. The very fact that the Skull have kept knowledge from him has merely increased his desire to have it. So it falls to me to be the one to give up the secrets to our ancient enemy. I do not know if I have the strength the Tree Stone is still corrupted. The land is still out of balance. But with the other five restored, it may be enough. Yes. The Skull also tell of the day when we must finally give up. As Shaman, it is my duty to... I believe that time is now. Give me the book. I will read it and speak. That is my hope as well. I am trusting that you will make this sacrifice worthwhile. Father, you must not do this. That book is wrong, evil, against everything you have taught me my whole life. I must, Freya. It is the only way to free Source Time forever from Mirak's shadow. There comes a time when everything must change. Nothing that lives remains the same forever. Do not fear for me, my daughter. This is the destiny that the old maker has laid out for me. I stand beside you, father, as always. I am ready for whatever the foul master of this book has in store for me. The Skull yield up their secrets to me! Dragon Lord, 
Uh, you have delivered me the gift I requested. Ah. In return, I keep my promise as befits a piece of oblivion. I give you the word of power that you need to challenge Mira. You will be either a worthy opponent or his mm, successor, as the tides of fate decree. Father! What have you done? Go! My father sacrificed himself. So you could destroy Mirak and lift his master's shadow from the land. Goodbye, old friend. We will miss you, but do not worry. Rhea will guide us well, thanks to you. We won't forget what you did for us, Storm Cloudstorm. Walk with the Omega. I'm sorry. Manifestation of her modest mo Freya will grieve, but she will prove a good shaman. Stone taught her well. He knew she was ready to guide us in his place.
I've been looking for you. Got some... Le got this from a pretty excited-looking dark elf around Ravenrock. He said it was important I got it to you as soon as I could. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Counselor Morvane is the only reason... You got a good thing going here now that you've reopened the mines. Don't let it go to waste. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. Fires, you a fight. Someone do something. <coughs> By the blood of Boric. <coughs> Again. That's it. I don't know what you did in those mines, but it put a smile on Cretius's face. I've never seen him so happy. You've brought so much hope to our people. We are forever in your debt. You lost? It gets lonely out here. Oh, hello. You looking for a handout or something? Your contribution to our... Vendel Severin. Always glad to help, Serio. What can I do for you? Talk to, to Captain, Captain Galland if you're looking, looking to book passage. passage.
your ancestors wouldn't want this, Silas. Why should I hide from it? This is my family's legacy. It's the past. Dead oaths on dead lips. Let it stay there. The museum is opening, Medina. I'm here to lend my magic to the people of Dawnstar. I beg you, don't go into Silas's museum. Silas comes from one of the oldest families in Dawnstar. They have a complicated history. Several of his ancestors belong to the mythic Dawn, the cult that almost destroyed Tamriel. His family's involvement was only found out well after the crisis had died down, but it still ruined their reputation. They were outcasts. And now Silas is back, and this museum to the mythic Dawn is his way of trying to rebuild his family's pride. It's misguided. Not a student of history, I see. It's for the best. They're a group that should be forgotten. The only thing you need to know is that they almost destroyed the world, and they were stopped a long time ago. That museum is a mistake. And here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. Yes, my collection of artifacts from... Why don't you come in? You can browse... Let's talk inside. Feel free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I mentioned. The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts, where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. Ah, yes. That scabbard. Notice the insignia? An Oblivion Gate. A key symbol of Merun's Dagon, the patron Daedra of the Mythic Dawn. The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died, that they would be reborn by Merun's Dagon's side. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Merun's Dagon himself. It's said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. Those robes were worn during the Mythic Dawn secret meetings, where they plotted to bring the Daedra Mehrunes Dagon into Tamriel. Each bolt of yarn used to make the robe was colored with a dye, made from sacrificial blood. Did you have any questions about the museum, or would you rather talk business? A little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group. And they're right here, in Skyrim. At least two of the owners, Gunzel and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen, I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. The Razor is Merun's Dagon's personal artifact. It has always heralded bloody change and carnage. It's held many names. Dagger of the Final Wounds, Bane of the Righteous, the Kingslayer. The Mythic Dawn worshipped Dagon as a god. Having his razor would be invaluable to my collection. They were worshippers of Merun's Dagon, the Daedric Lord of Destruction and Change. The Mythic Dawn killed Uriel Septim VII and his heirs, triggering the events that led to the Oblivion Crisis when the Daedra invaded Tamriel. All that remains of the infamous cult I've gathered in my museum. Good luck finding the fragments. What is it? Ah, an excellent question. Merun's Dagon is the Daedric Lord of Change, Destruction, and Ambition. 
Dagon's mythic dawn cult killed the Septim Dynasty and opened the Oblivion Gates into Tamriel. They called it the Oblivion Crisis. I'll just be tending the museum if you need me.